let's keep up with your achievements. Because, so wait, let's go through OAS 2002 when you represented Opokuwari yeah. at the National Science and Maskey Brilla. Then you broke records there. Your team brought the trophy to Kumasi. We did, yeah. And it was talk of town. You were profiled in all the major news outlets then. Hard print. This yes. no be blogger. They yeah. follow you. They say, follow I, my gifters on TikTok. Follow my gifters on TikTok. This be real life. Well, I have to say, it wasn't as big then as it is now. Like, okay. we, I would say we were the people who maybe built the foundation that you are seeing now. Wow. Like, nobody gave us cars for winning, for yeah, example. Right? That has n- never happened. Yeah. But, yeah, there was a lot of Talk attention. Around. Yeah, because yeah, I remember so well. And in fact, those of you who, uh, when we were celebrating, uh, I think the anniversary or so, there was a whole write-up about you. That's how come I had to find you on social media and send you a mm-hmm. DM. I oh. sent you a personal DM after reading that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they called you the phenomenal Paul Azunri, a profile of the National Science and Maskey 2002 champion. And the man whose journey has been chronicled here, life in OAS, life after OAS, and scientist, engineer, author, producer. Uh, you, yeah, 20 years, 22 years after the National Science and Maskey thing. I mean, pure brilliance. Charlie, you spot it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. So after was you got scholarship to study abroad, is that it? Yeah. I, I applied, I did the SAT. Okay. You know, the SAT exam. Yeah, that's, mm. And I did well in the SAT. No, you see, some of you are very modest when you try to say I did well, I did well. So everybody, <laughs> people did well and they are now in the Amazon. <laughs> so just say it. Don't be modest. You are allowed to <laughs> brag. Okay. Hey. Well, the, 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 some counselor officer told me I had the highest score in the country. The highest score yeah. in the country for SAT, yeah. 2002. Yeah, that was uh, 1540 at the time, out of 1600. Um, out of 1600, so 1600, right? That was the total score. 800 in uh-huh. mathematics, 800 uh-huh. in English. And I had uh, 800 in mathematics and 740 in English. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's a party. Hey! It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. I this is serious, yeah, I the No, but this, this, at, at any point, were, were your parents worried that, hey, let's take this guy, have him checked, for all you know, there is something we are not seeing. Because uh, this is genius level. I appreciate it, yeah. I did well, yeah. And so I got into Swarthmore College. Swarthmore? At the time, I remember I applied to MIT and mm-hmm. applied to Swarthmore, just two schools. Mm-hmm. I didn't get into MIT, mm-hmm. but I got into Swarthmore. Now you teach at MIT. Well, I don't. I'm not at MIT anymore. But yes, I did teach there for a while. Yeah. You're not. You're not into academic no more. Like I'm not in academia. No. Oh no. I, I'm in the industry. Oh okay. Because yeah, I found academia. There is more money in industry. Yeah. There's, there's more money. Sometimes in we're allowed to speak There's the less. Truth. There's less stress and. I understand. There's all this politics in academia. I understand. I, for my personality, it just doesn't right. work. Yeah. 